Okay, so how do you take your photo from this to this? So there are very small and easy tricks which will help you take mind-blowing photos and any phone, no fancy equipment, no fancy lighting here in practical environment outside. So there are seven photography tricks and number one is the best. So number seven, whenever people go to a fancy place or a monument to visit, they just pull up their phone, turn on the selfie camera and take a photo with any background, any tree and your photos come out like this. See, number one, you don't even look good. And number two, you don't even show the place where you have visited. Now, that's boring. What you can do is keep your phone over here. Now, in case you don't have a tripod, we don't care. You can use your bottle or sunglasses to keep your phone like this here. Also, start a timer for 10 seconds because you need time to hit the shutter button and then walk in the frame. Plus, with a timer, you make sure that the photo is not blurry. So, here is the after photo. And you know why it looks good? Because now I use these leading lines, these trees, to make the photo look really good. And automatically, the attention goes to the center of the image, which is you, like this video. That's why the photo looks good. And you can not only use these trees, you can use road, steps, bridges, everything. And the most popular place to take photos is the mirror. Like be it gym, washroom, changing room, we like to take photos in the mirror. And usually we take photos like this. Now the problem is, it's boring and plus your eye contact is weird. Like you're looking yourself in the mirror, but in the photo, it looks like you're looking down or you're looking up. So here's a good hack. You can pull the phone close to the mirror, tap on yourself to blur and look at the phone's main camera in the mirror. So now the photo looks interesting because you have depth plus you are making better eye contact like looking through the soul of the audience. Also, if you have a light source near the mirror, you can just go beside it, pull the exposure down, take a portrait mode photo. And now this looks really good. If you don't want to show off close, this is also a good example. Now, I've seen a lot of people making this mistake. Like all the phones these days come with night mode. And if you put your phone on your tripod and you use night mode, this is how the photo comes out. The cars come out blurry. Like see, I'm taking this traffic photo and the vehicles are all blurred and it looks like glitch. So a better way to do that is all phones these days have a pro photography mode. And the pro photography mode is just easy. Like there are two ways to bring light into your photos. Shutter speed, ISO. Now, if you're increasing the shutter, the speed avoid the ISO so here we'll increase the shutter speed to about two seconds or six seconds we'll experiment a bit with that and we'll decrease the ISO to 100 which is the minimum and now when I click a picture see the problem here is the photo is overexposed so there is also a small trick here most phones have a histogram in pro photography mode this is this line over here now you'd be like Pratik what's a histogram so in simple words if your histogram looks like this you will have an overly bright photo which happened in my case and if your histogram looks like this you will have a very dark photo so ideally your histogram should look something like this so you will have a properly lit photo and now my histogram is somewhat like this and now when I take a photo see how the photo looks this is called a long exposure photo and you can take more long exposure photos and you can take photos like this which looks super interesting okay another small thing that I've noticed is people take a lot of car selfies because what you would do in so much traffic, there's no other work to do. So people take selfies like this, just open the front camera, take a photo and that's it. But this photo, this photo looks boring. Plus you see everything looks blown out in the mirror behind you and that gives a vibe of a cheap camera phone or not a good photo. So what you can do is you can use the storage cabin on the opposite door, keep your phone here and just tap on yourself and make sure you reduce down the exposure. So the things in the window behind you gets properly exposed and it looks a good well lit photo. Plus you have to set a timer for 3 seconds or 5 seconds because you gotta pose as well. And also use a sunglasses so that you look cool. Now see we have taken this car selfie from this to this. And now it looks cool and what the Instagram DP I guess. And another common mistake that people do is they take photos against the sunlight. Like let me show you. Come on here. This photo is not against the sunlight but directly opposite the sunlight but it still looks boring. And even the sunlight's harsh. So sometimes the face has a lot of light. It looks bad. So now what you can do is you can ask your subject to turn around. And now you are using the sunlight as your light source. And you can also have something in the foreground like this bridge line you can see. So now tap on the subject so that you get a bit of blur in the front. And now click a nice photo. Ask them to pose. See. Bold statement, blur is equal to better quality photos. So whenever your photos have a background blur or the front is blurred, people feel it's taken on a DSLR or it's high quality. So you can just tap on the subject so the front gets blurred or you can also switch to portrait mode. So now you took your photo from this 
to this even i didn't expect it looks really good and another mistake which i often see is when people are on a road trip they just keep their person like this and take a photo on the road which is boring what you can do is you can use this road lines as leading lines and again get on to the middle of the road like we can't show you live because of course this video needs to be published and i don't want to be killed but you can take photos like this and in order to make more depth what you can do is you can turn your phone upside down and now the front and the back has equal amount of blur and your photo looks really high quality and now you have taken your photo from this to this like it's really mind blowing yo welcome okay this one honestly a lot of people take photos or make stories insta reels through the front selfie camera and i'm like why are you using the front selfie camera so this is how your footage looks from the front selfie camera and this is how the video looks from the main camera like you can see the smooth natural blur in the background and how good the quality is also the more you do with the main camera you get used to it plus you get better picture quality and video quality like funny incident even you guys would know this like whenever you go to a mall you see people taking photos from the selfie camera like the other person will stand at a distance and take their photo from the selfie camera and that too with an iphone like iphone has one of the worst and the more you use the main camera you get used to it and you can see how much of a difference it makes in the picture and video quality also on lot of a mid range phones you can shoot 4k from the main camera but not the selfie camera so that is also an advantage okay this one's my favorite because here you have to be creative and you have to find like small small stuff in your daily college backpack like this hold on the sunglasses whenever you take a portrait photo you can just keep the sunglasses in front of your camera lens like a little bit and you can get different variations like this photo this looks really good and this one and funny thing the filter depends on the color of your sunglasses and of course there are a lot of filters available on instagram which everyone uses but this could be one of your unique customized filter for yourself also if you search hard in your bag for little known things rare thing in your college bag you can get this book and you can use it this way like fold this page and then you can have a subject in the background and click a photo like this this is one of the unique portrait and if you are in the main camera the pages will be a lot blurred so you can also switch to ultra wide angle so the pages are now much more seen and you can see the photo looks somewhat like this and it's a very good angle and a really creative photo so this way you can use a lot of props around you and be creative with the photos like this one you find a lot of bottles thrown away in the garden or from your own bag and all you have to do is get a bit violent cut this bottle right through like this and then you can put your phone through the opening of the bottle and you get a photo like this or a portrait like this and if you want to get more creative you can ask someone to drop water at the opening of the bottle and then you get a photo like this which looks really crazy so lastly a small pro tip if you want to take good photos you will have to look at good photos so go over to instagram or this video itself take a screenshot of the photos that you want to take and take exactly photos like this and over the time you will come up with your own idea if you take any of these ideas tag us on instagram or twitter at the rate techwiser and we try to do a very different video let us know how you felt about it on that note this is very really signing off see you in the next video pew pew